This video has been brought to you by Frustration. Not sponsored. Being, being a Star Trek fan, I was listening to a podcast called GNT Show, and they covered things like um, fan-based stuff, like fan films, fan fiction, as well as the CBS licensed stuff in the way of novels, television shows, movies, board games, and other bits and pieces. And um, and. To help with the cover of the costs of their servers and website and anything else in between, they have a big fundraiser called 24 Hours of GNT. And they had one back in 2015, they also had one in 2016. Now, this happened at the end of October 2016. And I donated to them. And from, from that donation, they had a prize for every hour on the hour. They give prizes to the ones who donate the most in that particular hour. And with the, well, with no one d donating the hour before and me donating the following hour, I won like two hours worth of prizes. You know, it was just like some novelty stuff. Uh, some ships from Star Trek Online uh, and some um, uh, an artist who does pop music in Klingon uh, as a CD that was downloadable. Now I did receive the CD within a couple of days. Uh, I didn't really there was process happening of getting the stuff from Star Trek Online but no, there was a bit of history from the previous year, 2015. The person who was organising the distribution of the novelty stuff had had problems of prioritising the distribution of the of 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 those particular prices. You know, sending them off by mail. Where in 2015 she took from when they did the did the uh, fundraising event at the end of October. She didn't send everything out until the beginning of December. And that was after being pushed, basically. So I knew it was going to be of a process of, come on, you know, getting the pr pr prizes out. But, tw 20, you know, after my won in 2016, it seemed to take a little bit longer than usual and it was done again on close to Christmas and I, I did get on to her about it, you know, because she was, you know, a bit of, bit of, you know, she had a bit of fun and post, poke and post with the posting and stuff like that. And I sort of like responded back to her, you know, saying, any chance I can actually get some stuff, get the, get the stuff before Christmas? Truly know that I won't. And so, like, just a reminder, you know, you still got this to do. And of course, she said, "No, I'll I'll send it out first thing next year." Then next year rolled over. Still, they haven't heard anything or received anything. You start again on to the end of the month of January. And. Of course, uh, on the podcast, that's all I got mentioned in this little snarky remark. Sorry. I could use donor funds to pay for that. But I would kick your ass. But, Terry, that's accepted business practice. No, it's really not. Sure it is. My independent financial review board made up of <laughs> Cush and Woody and Son said so. <laughs> so... After that remark, I actually sent them uh, uh, pretty much an email 
Yeah, I'm saying, well, why? Yeah, well, why on earth are you getting me involved in it? Yeah, well, put it simply, it was like, well, maybe it would have been a good idea if, to, if you're going to include me in this to actually send me my perks. I'm still waiting on. It's now been over, you know, pretty much close to three months. And it's sort of like sparked a thing because I got an email back saying, have you received everything? I said, well, no, I'm still waiting on stuff. And so a little bit of to and throwing and stuff like that. I eventually end up getting the stuff from Star Trek Online, the two ships. Um, played them and all that and leveled them out. Then following Sunday... Sunday when they did their podcast, they announced this. Oh, I do have some news, though. We packed up all of the stuff, and it's in boxes now. I and saw a picture. And they have addresses on them and everything for all of the people who donated for our 24 hours of G&T, your prizes, the, the gifts that you receive for your donations that you get. They are now boxed and ready to go. They will be mailed out on Monday, with the exception of this. Um, posters. If you guys received posters from us, we're trying to find a better way to mail those out. The tubes that I had were too short, uh, for a lot of those posters and, uh, they will follow at a later date. Um, there was a real big run on boxes at the post office before Christmas and they just, yeah, right. Exactly. So for me to get those boxes now, I, they're done. They're, they're all boxed up. And there is one other person who won the risk, the Star Trek risk game that we have to find a better box for you for that gift. So that person, that one didn't go out quite yet, but everybody else, your stuff, <laughs> I hate to say it, your stuff's in the mail. So yeah, I'll take those down to the post office on Monday and uh, pay for them so they get out. If they're all, they're all, uh, priority mail with the exception of our two wonderful donors in Australia that that will come international and God knows how long that will take. So makes me wonder if anyone's actually received their poster. So, so pretty much after that, I didn't receive anything from her. And of course I probably, didn't really follow it through either, but it's just time went on until like beginning of August when she posted a picture of stuff she bought from Star Trek Las Vegas last year. And I just like really frustrated that, you know, she goes out and buys some perks and stuff like that and I'm still there waiting for my perks. And yeah, and so, you know, I responded to it and she realized that she totally forgot about it again. And, and you know, never really gave any reason on why on earth that even though she said that she's going to send it off the following morning in the, in the podcast, that she still got in sitting in there in her office. And, you know, I responded back to it, you know, pretty much putting it that, that, you know, not much different to someone else that seemed to have problems with handling donor money and distributing perks. So that's another story in itself. And she pretty much replied to me and says, I'll talk to you next week privately, you know, knowing that I was angry. And that was it. That was that with that because she never actually did reply back to me. She just went on a merry way sharing political posts on her Facebook page, you know, pretty much gone very much anti-Trump and her methods. And the old trip to Tennessee to go see a, a, a solar eclipse then then October came along it was starting to become 12 months since I you know, did my donation and still haven't fully got everything from it 
And she she announced that you know because of real life that she has to step down and you know from from the podcast. So you know, I replied back to her. I was sorry to put a dampener on your little charade here, but I still haven't received my perks. So you know, another person, another co-host replied saying, you know. I haven't received my perks, and I said, well, I haven't received my perks, and far as I know, the other person in Australia hasn't received their perks either. And then she, she replied saying, yeah, yes, it's true. And he goes, okay, well, when I go over to her place, I'll make sure I get the, get the stuff and get it mailed off to you. So we're starting to make progress where it started to get closer to me where from from coming uh, coming from New Mexico to California but uh, I didn't hear anything else from it for another two months until the first week of 2018 where I got a message saying I'm at the post office I'm just making sure the address is correct and about to send it off and you know I said send it off and I said music to my ears and a week later, you know, I got a little card in the letterbox saying there's a parcel at the post office to pick up. So I went and picked it up and this was it. First first thing I probably noticed about it was there's only one N in Glen. And I'll uh, probably find it probably the post office that probably did that, not the actual person but I was just looking at it and I was thinking well knowing roughly what my perks were or rewards were I looked at, at the little custom decoration side of things and it said book so I'd sort of like went well, as far as I know, I didn't ask for a book, or well, didn't win a book. So, you know, I'd like to know what was going on. And just to, just to uh, make sure, you know, I was correct, I, you know, did some digging into the into YouTube on their channel and pulled up the actual, of, you know, video, audio thing on their YouTube channel of the actual episode that or the time that I actually won all of this and this is what I actually won <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to Glenn Woody, Woody, Woody won. Uh, he was our high, highest bidder this hour. Um, he gets the golf set, the, let's see, um, I've got to track down two hours worth of stuff. The bobblehead phaser, well, the bobble phaser, the costumes poster, autographed by Terry Erdman, Paula Block. Um, also, he gets the... Klingon Popware digital downloads of both albums, one of which will be delivered once it's finished. Um, he also gets the Star, Star Trek Online uh, Tholian Dreadnought Cruiser and the Paradox Temporal D Dreadnought. So congratulations, Woody. So this is the thing that sort of like frustrated me because they pretty much were books. They received that I didn't win, basically. And these are the things I got were three of the comic books of the Star Trek Next Generation Doctor Who mashup. 
and all of them have a autograph on the bottom corner of it, even though they don't even know who these autographs have come from. And a book of the from Harlan Ellison, The City on the Edge of Forever, the original teleplay. With a nice pit, nice little drawing of Spock and an autograph of someone I don't even know whose autograph it is once again. But this is the thing that sort of like really frustrates me. After all this stuffing around, of not able to just do a simple 20 minute job of just sending this off back in Oct you know, October, probably beginning of November 2016, that they stuffed up. Because when I donated, I was mostly donating to so I pursue the the poster, autograph poster, the little novelty bobble head type of phaser, uh, you know the Star Trek online ships which I have, and and the and the Klingon Klingon music on CD, which actually come to th come to think about it when I actually listen to it. I'm actually supposed to receive a second one when it get released back in February 2017. I haven't even received that yet. So, you know, I, I, I did not donate in pursuit of trying to get this. And quite simply, it's I could probably clearly see that just it has come down to the simple fact that it's just someone has stuffed up. So, and quite, 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 and quite simply, if someone's going to come along and start defending them, they haven't been watching this video. So, so if someone that can actually go through and actually tell me whose autographs are these on the bottom of the of the comic books and inside this book, I really would like to know and just leave let me know in the description down below if even if you do know yourself. So in the meantime, I'm just going to need to figure out what I'm going to do with these because the simple fact is I don't want them. And it also just makes me wonder if they, someone else has actually got my got what I'm supposed to be getting and not, not getting this instead. And simple fact is, and also I know that the simple fact is I'm probably just not going to get what I, what I was supposed to win in the first place and I'm just not going to bother about asking for a refund. So, you know, I could say there's been many lessons that needs to be learned from this. Or else you're going to have some more very upset people in future fundraising events. So, in the meantime, hope you have a good one, better than what I just had at the moment.